got some CO2 here. Cool, cool. Oh my goodness, dude. <laughs> that camera's not doing justice. The hit on Lee was sick. Today's video, we have Trevor's virtual receipt, and he traded in a bunch of sealed product. But we're gonna get started looking at all of the sealed product. And there is one box, if not like two or three boxes in here that are insane. But there is a, a Hoopa, I don't know if this is backwards on the camera, but a Hoopa theme deck a Zygarde theme deck that one looks sick uh Lugia theme deck that one looks awesome and I know a lot of people like put put these on like their uh like just like a shelf or whatever and keep them there like a sealed products a battle figure Espeon then some big cards like a double V Adarine Alakazam and another double these little blaster things uh, Chilling Rain with the Fanfi and the Genesec B. Uh, Volcanion with the Coin and Aeroscota. Uh, but if you've never... Or, okay. Here's a Charizard theme deck. That one's insane. And there actually was a Venusaur theme deck, but that one already sold by the time of me making this video. But just to get into, like, what a virtual receipt is, if you've never been on the channel before, it's pretty much anything that gets traded in uh, if the person that traded it, it traded it in wanted to get it back, uh, they definitely could just message me and I would give it to them for a cheaper rate because they were once theirs. And these are actually insane. Like, Champion's Path packs. A Hatterene, or a double, and then a Hatterene V. And these can have the shiny black Charizard V and the rainbow Charizard V Max. So those, Champion's Path is a crazy set, and I don't know, that, that set speaks for itself, really. This was a Battle Styles and Darkness of Blaze, a uh, little three or two pack blister. Um, then this is a Evolutions pack, but it's like one of those like three, like three card mini packs or, or four card, I think. This one's actually pretty sick. Like for the promo. Uh, that is a cool Zero Ore coin with the Slowpoke, Projunk, and Cricketune, I believe. Cricketune. And then an Evolving Skies pack. And that is actually the only Evolving Skies pack I have in like my shop. So that's crazy. I have like booster boxes, and I'm not too sure what to do with those yet, but uh, there's the evolutions again. Uh, battle Styles with a sick Charmander and a Volcanion coin. And then this is the first time that graded cards have been uh, traded into the shop. And I'm not like a huge fan of graded cards, so I guess I, I don't really like enjoy, or not enjoy, but I don't really like, I guess seek out graded cards because I'm not a big fan of them, but if they're, if they're the right card and they're graded well, I think it's definitely good to pick up those cards. I just, I personally am not a fan, so. Um, a Grimer 5 First Edition. So that is pretty sick, just to get a graded of that. And it actually looks pretty decent, but it got a 5, I guess. Uh, Dark War, War Turtle, uh, GMA 6. That one's pretty cool. And then there was a... Uh, I believe it was CGC uh, 9.5 Charizard Japanese from the uh, the Charizard set. Uh, that one already sold at the time of me making this video. Here are some crazy boxes. Uh, Vivid Voltage Elite Trainer Box. So that one is insane. Because that one could have the rainbow chunkachu. Uh, Shining Fates. Uh, this is probably a set at the current date of me recording this where this set actually could eventually like go up in value it dropped a lot but i think we're at a point where it's going to start like going up in value again um this one's insane this is a pokemon exclusive or pokemon center exclusive 
Pokemon Go uh, Elite Trainer Box. <laughs> that was kind of a lot to lot to say, but there is a a Mewtwo a Mewtwo uh, coin, and I can't really fit it on the camera. But there's a Mewtwo like V promo card, which is actually insane. And at the time of me like recording, or er, the time of me buying this uh, collection, the the Pokemon Go is pretty up in value, and now it's like dropped quite a bit. But the Sword and Shield, like sets, there's only one set that you can get a Mewtwo out of, like as a V or a a V Star, and that is Pokemon Go. So that set's pretty wild and. And the the uh, codes for the Pokemon Go that come in like those type of uh, boxes, they actually are expiring soon. So if you really like Pokemon Go, definitely pick those up before they expire for like the free for like free berries or something. Uh, then he had some dig or not Digimon uh, Dragon Ball Z cards, pretty cool. I think there's like a Frieza card in that set or something. Um, some loose packs, uh, Vivid Voltage, a couple, then Shining Fates, there's three of them. Uh, then these are pretty sick. Uh, General Mills, uh, cereal box packs. I think they're from 2018, maybe. Um, these are 2022 20, McDonald's packs. Uh, I'm not gonna open them because they're they're really just. I, actually, I've already opened them on the channel, so I guess yeah. There was seven of those, and then some more McDonald's packs. I believe these are 2000. I want to say like 2019 or 2020, maybe I can't remember. But these actually look pretty sick. They're all featuring Pikachu, I guess, which is kind of cool. Uh, there's a lot of those. Uh, there's the last one, like 11 of them, I think. Um, but if you'd stay tuned for this long, uh, all of my shop ETBs are the same price. So any ETB that is like the regular ETBs, not like the exclusive ones, but any ETB is always the same price. And I am willing to let this box go for the same price. But if you wanted to open it on the channel, I would like that if someone bought it, it would be for the channel just to see what was in it. Uh, but a Sun and Moon base set Lunala Elite Trainer Box. <laughs> like, oh man, this is back when the GX is. So that is so cool. The sleeves are pretty sick too. But that that is awesome. Uh, then there was a couple random tins. Uh, Charizard tin. There was three of those. Dark War Turtle was getting the spotlight for like most of this video. But there was three of those. I believe those have. I want to say they have evolution packs in them. And then this. I can't remember what packs come in this, but this tin had a pretty good pack in it, if I remember right. I believe they're called V Power Tins. But the Pikachu V in that. Uh, then there was a bunch of singles, and these singles range from, like, just so much. Like, there was, like, modern to, like, just really old stuff, but as you can see, this collection was huge, and he, he traded it in, and it, I, I don't know, that was, that was such a fun day. And there'll actually be a little video at the end of this video of us opening a Evolving Skies and a Dragon Frontiers pack. Like... If, if you don't know Dragon Frontiers, that pack is insane. Uh, but this is a Hitmonlee. Mm, I think that's from, yeah, Fossil. Uh, Gyarados right there. An Eternatus V Gold. A Blastoise from Base Set 2, man. Like, that is so cool. That's sick seeing those. Uh, Dragonite GX Full Art, that is pretty sick. Uh, Agron EX, these EXs are really nice. Uh, Suspicious Food Tin. 
Uh, two Ditto Vs. Uh, Lapras, this one I remember being really beat up, but it's a uh, Japanese uh, Lapras. Uh, Dreadnought, I love that card. Uh, Gumshoes GX. Gardevoir V, Alakazam V, Cramorant, Duraludon, Vickavolt. And then there was three Crobats, but two of them sold at the time of this video. And there also was a Cinderace V that sold. But otherwise, this is everything that's still here. Um, there's a Japanese Alchemy. Uh, Full Art Piers, Cramorant VMAX, Senescort Shiny from Shining Fates, uh, Yveltal Amazing Rare. These are so cool. Like, those look so good. Uh, that was about half of them. Then another one of those gold suspicious food tins. Uh, Galarian Renugius, uh, Dormanitan, these are all shinies, Rookity, Pokemon Breeder, uh, Crobat VMAX, which is pretty cool that that got a VMAX, uh, Delmise, Dartry, oh, there was a, there was a ba uh, Baby Shiny Bunnelby that, uh, got one for a prize, uh, Charizard V, um, Stone Joiner. Uh, this one's so old. I remember this being like, I think this is like, uh, what's it say on the thing, but, yeah, 1998. That's crazy. Uh, this is a pretty cool gold energy card. Ball Guy, Japanese Arbok, a Zangoose, Holland Phantoms, and a Shiny Rapidash. So, those are crazy cards. Um, and then, so that was all in the shop, and then I ended up getting some stuff that he had that I wanted, like, personally. So I ended up getting, uh, this Primal Clash, uh, EX. I don't even know what that can have in it, but that's pretty sick. Uh, then he had some Japanese packs, which... I guess I've never really opened Japanese packs, so I don't really know what sets these are in English. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's Sun and Moon. Pretty sure that's Sun and Moon. I know this is Tag Team in English, I think. And then that's Necrozma, or Ultimate Necro- White Necrozma, I think. But just the pack arts on these look insane. Like, man. And then I got a Alakazam V box. I really liked the Alakazam V like attack. So I got that. Those were all like for personal stuff. But yeah, um I guess that's that ends the virtual receipt of me showing everything. Uh but if Trevor ever wanted them back, you know, you know, just message me or reach out. Um but yeah, uh if someone wants that just message me. The first person that messages me and wants to open that on camera, I, I think that could have something crazy in it. Like, you get eight packs of Sun and Moon base set, so... Yeah. That's a crazy box. And it's the same price as all of the ETBs, so... Uh, if you want to check the card shop, it's in the description. Um, but yeah, I'm going to roll the last clip of me and Trevor uh, opening up a couple packs, so... Uh, roll the clip. As of right now, we're just gonna finish this video. I'm gonna be opening an Evolving Skies pack. Got Dragon <laughs> Majesty. Yeah. He has a crazy pack. So we're gonna go with mine first, and then he's gonna open his. Umbrian Such, Art. Yeah. Such a cool set. If we got, like, a Rayquaza, that'd be pretty sick. Or even just, like, a... Good code card. It is a good code card, so... I can't really see... Psyduck, let's go. <laughs> uh, Rowlet, Drowsy... Uh, I can't see that one. I think it's a Flapple. Oh, a Raichu Hollow. And then we get oh, an Umbreon. There we go. Let's go. Not the alternate art, but still it's a still sick. Around. Yeah. For the V, and then a... I'm gonna take my that one won't be very good to play, but still pretty good. And then the Stuffle. Alright. Here's the code card. But, Here's yeah. the Dragon Majesty. This is an insane pack. Wimscott. Like, I don't even know what you can get in this, but... Wimscott non-hollow. Let me get something, man. Real quick, what is the... 
the age of these cards. Uh, 2018. Jeez. Good code card. That's what we like to see. <laughs> Let's go. There's your code. Okay. I can't tell. Fergalator or something. Come on. I can't she believe it's a good code card. Let's hold off. Bag of horses. Dragon there, I think. Uh oh, there's the reverse. There's Dragon. Come on. It's red. Orange. Ah. Uh, what is that? Oh. Oh. Blaziken Hollow. That's sick. I'll take it. That is sick. That is sick. Yep, that's it. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you for joining though. Uh, hitting the like and subscribe button if you want to watch more. But appreciate the meetup. Yeah, of course. Awesome collection. It is Dublin. This uh, Dublin. Trevor. Yeah, ready. It is Dublin and Trevor out. Peace. See you.